Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. We are back in the Vulcanoids again. And yes, look, 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 look at the picture. I am wearing a wrist something or rather. Um, it does have a name. And um, before we jump into that, let's, um, <clears throat> let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please click that subscribe button down there. You wouldn't want to miss out on any of these awesome, awesome videos, so hit that little bell next to it. And be sure to leave comments. I love comments, and of course, hit that like button if this is something you enjoy. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, let's jump into this, and let's talk about this brand new update that changes everything. <laughs> All right, let's look at the patch notes here. So the device, I couldn't think of the name at the time when I started this video. I knew what it was, it just, I drew a blank. But it is called the Control Bracer. And what this little puppy does is everything, literally everything. You can access your, um, as you see here, you can access your periscope. You can send your ship down, which you could do anyhow, send your ship down and call it. But now you do it all from the wristwatch thingy, the bracer. And another feature is, is if you don't know what something is, is you can use the camera mode of your bracer, take a picture of it, and it'll send you information on it that you can look at. And um, you can use the camera function to also point it at like, parts of your ship, and it'll give you information on that, telling you how much damage and whatnots and all that good stuff. Um... Another feature, the red light, green light. The red light comes on when the eruption is about to happen. And that little clock on there is our countdown clock. It ain't the time. Time to, oh, to kaboom, it says. And when the green light comes on, that means you are in a safe place from the kaboom. Pretty nice. Uh, some toolbars have been upgraded. There's ways of moving stuff around. You can reassign. You can click. Uh, they reworked the boiler. I guess they wanted to make it more user friendly. If you look up here, there's a little picture of the ship that tells you what direction your ship is facing now. So that people have an idea this is where you steer your ship from. And then you have the up and down with a little picture showing you your tilt. So here's an animation of a multiplayer or somebody steering the ship underground and you can see what direction they're headed. Not that that's really going to help you without windows or knowing whether you want to be north or south, but I guess it's, um, it's something. And then uh, the dials, let's see here, the diving lever, that just shows an animation of that. And, um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much the majority of it, but here, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is a thermal reactor. So once we install this, we can use the heat underground to craft underground. Our machines will work underground, but they will work slower than if we were above ground. They upgraded the periscope. It actually sticks up and has an animation now. Uh, if you look here, there's all buttons above your inventory for um, filtering through your inventory. Uh, damage part prompts. Now here's something. Instead of having a workbench and a station and a hub, each one will integrate into the next level. So whatever the workbench can do, once you upgrade to the station, it will do everything the workbench can do plus. Once you upgrade to the hub, the hubs will do whatever the workbench can do and whatever the station can do. So that's, that's kind of cool. I like that. And then uh, there's some additional patch notes, some changes and improvements on a lot of the things, some refinements. Um, installed higher core upgrades, now add extra inventory slots. Um... Yeah, there's something you guys can read that if you want. But I guess that's about it for the update. But this changes the game. So I'm going to start a multiplayer session. 
Even though I will be starting solo tonight. But I will be playing multiplayer most of the time. But we're going to play this from the beginning to the end again. From the beginning to the end. This is going to be awesome. I kind of missed this game. I'm glad you guys came back to watch it with me. Alright. So we're going to do a friends multiplayer. We're going to do normal. It began when strange formations like giant soil tracks started to appear across the island. No one was able to explain how they were made. Soon after the formations appeared, earthquakes followed. Weak at first, they grew more frequent and more violent. A few days later, three volcanoes erupted in the island lagoon, hurling stones, sinking ships, crushing buildings. Captains feared for the safety of their vessels. All trade stopped. People left Adrenos aboard fleeing ships. The brave few who had remained soon regretted their decision. An enormous volcano that lay dormant for centuries erupted, flooding the island with a pyroclastic wave, covering it with lava and hurling stones miles away. Those who had made it to the ships were evacuated. Oh, uh, I think I accidentally clicked something. But that's okay, we've seen that all before. That loaded up pretty quick there. So we know the only thing the captain's got to offer. Well, I don't know now. Things could have changed. Could have changed. But basically, we just want to raid him for everything he's got. Um, make sure we get it all. Nothing in there. That's the way out. Close use. Look in here. Nothing in there. We empty that. We'll take that. What? Take that, yes. Alright. What do you got in here, Captain? Those are all healing things. All these right here, med kits. We don't need two wrenches. Alright, so we emptied out this room here, right? We're going to talk to the captain. Let's finish up at raiding his submarine here. I think I need to slow my mouse down. Seems to be kind of jumping all over the place here, huh? Um, sensitivity. I don't know if that's this axis or this axis. It's up and down. I really want to slow down. That feels pretty good. Alright. So we got all that. Alright, so that's the icon. That's what I clicked on the last time by mistake. Got a lot of beds just for himself being in here. Alright, looks like we completely wiped you out, Captain. Alright, good day, sailor. Cogs. Mysterious robots that took over our island. Possesses technology superior to ours. It is clear first step must be to reverse engineer their tech to increase our odds. Find pieces of the technology and research them so that we learn how to capture their drill ships. Massive machines they use for transportation. Alright, so we want to craft a drill ship core. We will accept this quest. So I thought 
the first quest was to capture a drill ship. I didn't know we had to craft a core. But we had the ingots on hand. Alright. So we cleared that, right? Well done. Now let's put the core to good use. Do you want me to talk to you again? Claim a drill ship. Alright. So it's been a little while. I hear the rumble. That means we're out of time. Let me see here. Let me. I'm gonna check out our new um our new watch. I'm gonna hit the Q button. Here we go. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's got my logo on it. I love it. I love it. All right, all right, all right. So we have what we got here. What's this? So we got 11 minutes till. How do you click on these things? I'm, I'm hovering over the different. Wait, that goes in a circle. I'm not sure how this works. So I'm, my light's green, which means I'm in a safe spot. F is jump. Huh. Let me bring that up again. I wonder why that goes in a circle. Maybe there'll be instructions on how to use this later. But right now, it doesn't seem to be working for me. Uh, it looks like a light. I don't know. Oh, so... I thought that icon, that that's this little icon here next to the light right now on the door. I thought that had something to do with my watch. To see how it kind of circles around there. But I don't, I don't see how to activate the watch. E? No. Shift, Q, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to come back to the watch. But let's see here. We, we do have eight minutes, nine minutes. Let's see if we can't claim a drill ship in that amount of time. We might not be able to. We might have to take refuge. Let's bust this open just in case we have to come back. Alright, so if we have to, we can, um, we can come back and run in there. Oh no, he's got. Oh, this ship is destroyed. Oh, see, I thought these guys were um, pretty slow to begin with. Oh, I can't get in there. We both had to reload. We both had to reload. All right, let's put the drill ship core in. We do that up there. All right, we have to repair our ship, right? Yep, repair damage, except. So do we have, um, yes, we have two of them on us. Let's go to our, hand, our wrench. Oh, there is no repair in that. We're going to have to replace those. So. 
What did we do again? To look at the damage module, hold the left mouse button, wait until the breach reaches 100. So what happens if it's destroyed? I need, is there anything in the storage? No. We can unload some of this stuff. So I think we have to craft these or structures. Wait a minute. Breach replacements. That's what we need. And I don't believe we have any of those. So we need copper bolts and copper plates. I did pick up some scrap out there. All right, we'll make a bunch of them up. All right, I'm missing, we're missing copper plates. What are you missing now? One more bolt and you're missing ingots. Alright, so let's go pick up our good stuff. Oh no, that is in our inventory now, right? Yes. Alright. 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 I have cleaned my ship, and we still had five minutes to spare. Four and a half minutes. Alright, so let's go make sure we are all sealed up here. Yes, we're going to go below and do a little bit of mining before we take on our next mission. So there's that animation. That basically just tells me my float bubble level. And then we will steer from here. I like I like the two handle look. That is kind of new. I do like that. And what's our storage look like? Pretty full, huh? Ooh, we got copper plates and bolts and all that good stuff. Ah. Oh, we had eight of them. I should have checked the storage first. Holy cow, we had everything we needed. All right, so we need to research. Um, let's take on the mission. Current module. All right. Module, current, we need five copper plates and three copper tubes. We'll take all them, we'll take all them. And we don't need any of these anymore. We need them miner heads sooner or later. Alright. We're going to put up some deterrence. Turrets. Alright, so we don't have a whole lot of room right now. But we are going to put you there. And then we are going to dump ammo. Revolver, revolver. Didn't we have turret ammo? No? No, no turret ammo? Where we go here? Aww. 
So we gotta make some turn ammo, and I don't know if I got sulfur. Yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do. Make four of them. We're gonna need to make some black powder. I have all the sulfur. What's going on here? Take item. Item missing. Oh, we need coal to make this stuff. Alright, we got 20 seconds to eruption. Go over here and check it out. Where is it? There it goes. Almost didn't get up here in time. And whoosh, there goes the poison. Out there at this time, you die. Alright, it's reset. Now you can go outside. Alright, so we were in the middle of making turret ammo. We never picked up our black powder. There we go. Now what you missing? 30 revolver ammos. We need casings. Alright, my turret's full of bullets. Let's turn you on. All right, and now you're full of bullets. Good deal. So let's take on the next quest. Oh, we have our quest. Uh, repair modules, repair damage. We still have damage. Am I missing something on the roof maybe? There we go. Now we got all the damage. So now we need to produce a pistol turret module. We did that. Because we have our pistol turret module right here. Place the pistol turret module. Maybe because I did it below ground. But that's okay. I don't mind having a pistol turret on each side for now. We'll take one down later. We're going to take them both down because we'll get the double wide one. Control bracer prep periscope. Alright, finally it's going to show me how to use my control bracer. See what is happening around your drill ship. Use the remote periscope on the control bracer. Use it every time your drill ship is under attack and you are too far away to check on it. Okay, and we might as well take on this one too. Mine more coal. So, let's go out here. 
we're gonna go down here and say our ship is under attack so we hit Q unequipped hand computer unequipped hand computer by pressing Q or the squiggly line equipped is Q Activate Periscope by pressing 2. Oh! I was trying to use my mouse down there. You gotta just press the number. So press 2. Oh, 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 look at that. So I'm right down there. Right off that ledge. Wow. I like that. I like that. And then if we press 2... That's periscope. One is what? Oh, look at that. We got a light. I love the sound effect. And three is the map. All right. Handy, handy. And then four is a question mark. Quest log. Oh. Show on HUD. Oh, I like that. I like that. All right. What's five? Captain. Why do we need the captain? What six? That's the camera, right? Oh no, I just sent my ship underground. All right, I can handle that for now. So I wonder if I push six again, was well, that will bring it back? Let's try, let's try. Drill ship is coming to the landing site. Alright, so what's seven? Calling the drill. And then eight. That's the camera mode. So if we were to look at something. Oh, it's going to do the animation. We could skip the animation, but I like watching that. Alright, so let's take a picture of this. How do we take a picture? I guess we don't. Oh, that's just decor. That's how about that. There we go. Look at that. It tells me what it is. Copper, scrap metal, four pieces. I I'll have to look and see how. Um, oh, it gives you like all the information. I mean, we saw this come up in that other button, but I didn't realize how much information was there. I thought you could take pictures. Oh, I just picked it all up. Alright, well, moving on. We have here some copper. Go down here and get some of this coal. All right, let's put the coal into our inventory. And we're gonna take on the next quest. First travel. Now that the jewel ship is in great shape, let's move to another location. Use the levers on the front boiler and travel to the neighbor landing site. If the jewel ship has the required upgrades, it will take you to the new location. Just make sure a surface cog drill ship does not block it. In that case, choose a different spot. In the future, you can repeat this procedure every time you need to travel somewhere. All right, let's go underground again.
Alright, let's navigate to a new landing site. Let's pick that stuff up, though. That's some good stuff. We have 13 minutes. So, I don't want to spend too much time picking up good stuff. these parts we don't need those for research all right let's do the landing here I'm trying to blow through some of these beginning um, missions to get to the goods parts Seems like a nice area. Alright. We are moving right along here. Get equipped. Let's get you some more equipment that will help you counter the cog attack. Bullets and um, health packs. So we have pick up copper from storage. We have copper. We don't need that. And pick up coal from storage. Produce ammo. And we need to produce some copper ingots. That's in the refinery. Is that here? Alright, pick up the other ingots. Oh, wait a minute, let's pick that up. There we go. Dirty cogs. You got to keep an eye on your ship. The only one you got. Alright. So what were we doing here? We are producing copper tubes. I don't know if you noticed it stopped when I walked away. Because the stuff it's using is in my inventory. Once we upgrade our workstation, it'll pull from the ship's inventory and we won't have to carry this stuff anymore. We need two more copper tubes, but we completed our mission, so done with that. We need to go raid a COG drill ship. Already? We need to get advanced COG components that we can't produce ourselves. Raid a COG ship and take anything useful from its storage. COG drills ships are specialized and you will always find the most items of a given type in drill ships with that specific mission purpose blue is production red is refinery green is research and black is military alrighty so we need to unload some inventory definitely don't need all these things So you see they got a patrol down there and a patrol up there. Hopefully they don't come back on me. But let's head up here and just take out this patrol.
this enough health? Pick this up and then we'll inject ourselves some of, them, some of that first aid. And now we're 100%. going to break my way in, but we're going to open the door, and then run away, so we're all alone here, I need to raid this main storage, and then I like to take out these things, they reproduce the robots, And then busting these things up here is where we get our pieces that we need. And then I just like to destroy stuff. We don't need to destroy that. Why ain't you breaking? What's the matter with you? Oh. Everybody. As you can see, it wants me to drop off this stuff at the ship, but I think this video is starting to really get a little bit long here. So I think this is where we're going to leave it. And um, when we come back, I'll drop the stuff into the inventory and we'll continue on. But man, I am loving this, loving this thing, this new device. And um, look, I'm calling my ship back. So let me um, let me know what you guys think of this and um, leave a comment for sure for sure leave a like I need them likes so let's know you guys are enjoying this and we'll see you guys next turn thanks for watching. Everybody, 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 everybody.